Welcome back to our next episode of Riddle TV. After a busy few weeks, Dave and I are back in the studio. Yes, and it's great to be back, and we hope you're all keeping well. Later on in this episode, we'll be featuring a customer we recently visited who's been working with us for over 10 years. But first, we're treating you to a real Easter feast. Yep, Easter will soon be here, and we wanted to showcase some of the products we have on offer for your customers to enjoy with their family and friends over the long Easter weekend in April. Not everyone wants to go down the traditional route of having lamb at Easter, so we wanted to show you a range of some different products you could stock up on. So Dave, tell us what we've got on offer. It's just a very, very small fragment of the wonderful product that we've gone at the depots. It's a few ideas, and a lot of them are very familiar, but it's just maybe an alternative to a leg of lamb at Easter, which seems to be the sort of go-to product. So we'll start with the beef to start with. And we've got a fantastic, extra mature Weddell Swift top side here. So inside of the thigh, um, beautiful selected piece of meat, uh, extra matured, all the heavy veins and tubes have been taken out of it. You've got a very nice even covering of fat, not excessive at all. It's really simple, ready for jointing. So you take this into the, into, into the store and you can log it into three, uh, then, then square it up, roll it, net it, yeah. but it's beautiful. Very, very hard to get that wrong. That cooks very, very easily because it's matured. Let it rest. Fantastic piece and of meat. And well, this which here is also a really popular range with our customers as well, as it we is. know. It is. So I mean, obviously, that maturation good. gives gives the, uh, the the butcher and also the consumer a little bit more confidence. It's all the time it's improving mm -hmm. that tenderness and that flavour that comes with the extra maturation. Yeah. But not only that, it's all down to the selection. Um, we put a huge amount of effort into selecting the right carcasses uh, and the right trim specification on the primers mm -hmm. that are coming off those carcasses to really optimise the uh, the yield for the butchers and also the eating experience for our customers. So that's the top side, beautiful piece of meat, very, very easy to prepare and, uh, and to cook at home. Then to the outside of the thigh, slightly lesser piece of meat, some would say, is the silver side. Um, you can either buy this as a silver side flat or a silver side mm -hmm. bed, or you can have a whole silver side with a salmon roll left on the side, which tends to happen is people take that off and they'll slice that into medallions mm -hmm. as, a, yeah. as an easy carving joint, which leaves you a nice flat piece of meat. Just needs a little bit more TLC, a bit more seasoning, um, just to bring it through. But again, if it's extra matured, it improves that flavour, which sometimes can be lacking in silver side. And also good to see some different brands on offer for customers, depending Absolutely. on their requirements as well. Because we do source from, you know, to optimise our um, availability, which at the moment is really, really key. Um, we do source from quite a range of suppliers, mm -hmm. whether it's a regional offer or whether it's just a group-wide benefit from a value perspective. But they're always people that we work with on a regular basis. We know all of our suppliers intimately, uh, and we, that means that we know what's in the box and we know our customers can, can trust in that product. So that's the silver side. Then we move to the brisket. And again, this is a, off a short four. 0.10 bit of brisket, very, very easy. All the excessive fat's been taken off, um, and that's ready for either stringing and using as a pot roast Good or a thing. slow roast. Loads of flavor, just needs a bit more time from a cooking preparation yep, perspective, great. but eats really, really nice. well, and also makes fantastic burgers if you want to go that far. And then we've got the king from a roasting point of view, and uh, some would say that's sacrilege, but we've got a, you know, we've got a lovely Weddell Swift extra mature loin here, um, which is obviously perfect for staking. But if you fancy a real Easter feast treat, then uh, you know you can take lumps off this yep. and roast it, and it will eat amazingly. Bit and, of horseradish, amazing. And having a steak is just a really nice alternative anyway. If you don't want to roast, if there's just two of you. Nice steak for Easter. Absolutely. Why not? Absolutely, why not? But this would be absolutely amazing as a, as a roast and a real yeah. a real center a real center of plate uh, bonanza for Easter. But certainly explore the range; you won't be disappointed. Excellent. Thanks, Dave. Pleasure. The Weddell Swift Easter Bunny is going to be out and about over the next few weeks, delivering some special golden eggs, just like this one. And they're going to be filled with lots of surprises. And if you want a chance to have one delivered, all you need to do is simply tell us what is your best-selling Weddell Swift product. Tell them what they need to do, Em. Well, all you need to do is either reply to the text message you received to watch this episode, or you can text us at 66777, starting with Weddell News. 
Either way, please include your best-selling product you buy from us, your name and business name, and with any luck, the Easter Bunny will be hopping his or her way to you. And finally, we mentioned at the start of the show about a customer we recently visited, the Farmer's Pantry, who are based in Cardiff and have been operating for over 10 years. And during this time, we've been supplying them with our Weddell Mature Beef. And we were delighted to find out during the visit just how much we've helped them grow into the success they are today.